Welcome, my name is Eric Yuan, and today I'm going to introduce the sea state prediction system. In a nutshell, the device estimates sea conditions based on the movement of a vessel. First, a bit about our company. Criari is a leading R&D center with numerous innovative products under its belt. Our recent success is a compact swaging machine for aircraft carrier cables that's lighter and faster. We're talking about a savings of 500 hours per deployment. We just hit our 60th anniversary, and I can say it's a great community of about 125 skilled engineers and technicians. Along with our manufacturing partner, Adari, we provide end-to-end -end product development and commercialization. The INLS Lightridge system is a portable causeway used to transport cargo to shores with inadequate ports. It resembles a floating pier comprised of interchangeable modules that are arranged using a working tug. The lighter system is capable of sea state three, which extends to a wave height of around four feet. Before operations commence, a risk assessment is made using visual observation and one's experience at sea. Here's the problem we're trying to solve. With a subjective risk assessment, it's easy to blur the line of what's considered safe sea conditions. This has two impacts. With uncertainty, some operators may be underestimating the vessel's capability which ends up affecting your overall combat capacity. While others may find themselves operating in unsafe sea conditions. What we need is an objective measure of sea state, one that's simple and non-intrusive. This is where the sea state predictor comes in. The SSP is installed at the warping tug helm where it measures tug motion to determine sea state. This technique is founded on wave buoys which have been around for over 40 years. It's just a bit more complicated when taking into account the dynamic response of the vessel. The SSP consists of a navigational grade IMU and GNSS antenna, a single board computer, and a simple display. It's a standalone device that operates independent of the ship's navigation system. Here are some recent milestones. We've conducted wave tank testing with the scale model to characterize the ship's response to various waves and validate our choice of IMU as the primary sensor. With the help of the US Navy, we conducted field tests aboard a warping tug to measure and filter out engine noise. We developed a prototype wave recorder that's currently being filtered at the Naval Base in San Diego. And we're finishing up a phase two option, which brings us up to TRL-6, with the next step being integration to a fully functioning prototype. Let's review some of the key features and benefits of the sea state predictor. Real-time measurements provide a robust determination of sea state. This objective-based assessment extends the range of environments you are confident operating in, thus increasing your combat capacity while also reducing risk. The SSP has a small form factor that's easy to mount in the pilot house. Its standalone requires no input from your nav system. The SSP leverages off-the-shelf components for reliability, lower cost, and provides a faster path to product realization. Our next step is to work with the Warping Tug crew to develop a simple user interface and decide how the unit will be mounted. Then continue testing the prototype in the field to make it robust against anomalies such as oblique seas, with the ultimate goal of attaining low rate of initial production by the end of fiscal year 2022. While we are targeting the Navy's lighter system, we believe there are opportunities for expanding to other platforms, such as fishing vessels, water policing, or drug enforcement. If you know of other vessels that could benefit from an objective assessment of sea conditions, please reach out to me. With the SSP, we hope to duplicate our success transitioning new technologies to effective end products. Shown here is our laser-based inspection tool for aircraft fasteners, converted into a portable handheld scanner that's produced and sustained by our sister company, Adari, and used in the production of F-35s. Thank you to the SPIR Transition Program for giving us this opportunity. We believe there's a clear path to making the sea state predictor an effective tool at assessing sea conditions. Please let me know if you have any questions about the device or know of others who might be interested in pursuing a commercial partnership. I look forward to meeting you and hearing about how we can meet your needs. Thank you for your time.